why they went out and questioned Ananya Pandey, what they've got from her in terms of the answers that she's given, what they're making of the answers that Ananya has been given and what do they hope to get when they go again and summon her at 11 a.m. tomorrow. Sahil. Control Bureau suspects that uh, those chats belong to some kind of buying and selling of the narco uh, narcotic substances. They are going to call them and that is why Ananya Pandey was also called. The questions were quite usual, whether Aryan, Aryan Khan was consuming drugs, whether uh, she herself was consuming drugs. And of course, it's a long list of questions which could not be finished in two hours time because she was called at two o'clock in the morning, uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. The way she has been called by NCB, the line of questioning that uh, sources close to NCB have shared with us, despite the fact that there is no proof with her, that despite the fact that there is no proof on any of these Bollywood kids, Bollywood is perplexed that what is this line of questioning? A lot of senior actors, a lot of producers, a lot of actors who have kids in the industry are worried. Now the uh, NCB has dug its heels and said, look, we are going to make this case about much more than six grams of charas held by Aryan Khan's friend. We are going to prove that Aryan Khan was a consumer. Not only was he a consumer, he was a supplier to X, Y and Z. And we are throwing the book, the kitchen sink and everything after him. Well, I didn't know that the laws in this country are applicable class centric. That if, you're, if you belong to a film fraternity, you should not be charged with uh, offenses related to narcotics. You should be treated with a, given a special treatment. I thought the constitution of this country deals with the equality before the law and equal, equal protection of the law. Putting the cart before the horse in a way to get brownie points, maybe. I do not know what is going on here, but I am disappointed. There are better ways. They are naming and shaming and also parading the people you know, kind of naked, and I don't like it. I would not have liked it for anybody's son. Amitabh Bachchan, Om Puri, Amrish Puri, Akshay Kumar, Ajay Devgan, anybody. I wouldn't like that to happen. Most of the sections think that the proportionality is lost. Because you see that, yes, there is only six grams of uh, uh, seizure, but the, the noise that is made is equal to 3,000 kilos of seizure made in Mundra port. The NCB is probably doing its job uh, a bit over enthusiastically. If this was not Aryan Khan, if this was anybody else who was not a star son, would he also be denied bail or would he already be on bail at home by now? On the basis of what is being called conscious possession, the fact that one of his friends was allegedly, uh, Aryan's friends had drugs, Aryan doesn't get bail and on the basis of WhatsApp chats. What do you make out of this case? No recovery, no consumption, no medical test, no past history, no other issue except so-called WhatsApp chat, which is the foundation of the order of the court. Here it is no quantity. It can be based on regular consumption. There is no proof of consumption. It can be based on past history. There is no past history. If this is the position and somebody has four grams of charas in his shoe, which may be a co-accused or whatever, there is no way that this offense can be, can require a punishment of a year or more. He's been charged under section 27 of the NCB, where, of the NDPS, where it's not easy at times to get bail. So are you saying that you go by the facts of the case or the section under which you are charged? The order of the judge is purely based on a WhatsApp chat. A WhatsApp chat with whom? Are you saying that this young man is a peddler? Now, if he's a peddler, then he would have some principles, some customers, he would be a chain, he would be a link in the chain. Where is that chain? The fight between Narcotics Control Bureau, NCB, and NCP have, has now escalated. Now, we are being told after NCB's zonal chief rejected Maharashtra minister's extortion charge, Nawab Malik has now leveled fresh allegations against Samir Van Khede. He is accused, Samir Van Khede, of being economical with the truth after he said he'd never been to Dubai after joining service. Nawab Malik has released pictures claiming 
that these are pictures of Samir Vankhede and his sister Yasmin from their visit to Dubai at a luxury hotel. I have never been to Dubai, whatever time is stating that. Secondly, there are mechanisms to check where a person is. So this is completely false. In the morning, sister has said his brother had not been to the Maldives. Then he himself committed, even the NCB press note says, he had been to the Maldives. But he denied that he was not in Dubai. Nawab Malik is saying that celebrities are being framed in a bogus drug case. Samir Vankhede responds, he is just fighting drug menace. He is bringing facts in public domain. The Maharashtra minister has questioned Vankhede's Maldives visit, claiming that that visit coincided with celebrities in Maldives during the pandemic. Vankhede says, yes, he did visit Maldives with his family, but following due legal procedure, due uh, administrative procedure after taking permission of his superiors.